Hello everyone, I'm Aaron Fletz, and I'm going to take you through a quick five-minute video on how to build a simple application on top of AstroDB. So today, we will be building a simple React.js application to track nerd holidays for 2023. Uh, these holidays will be sorted uh, by date, ascending, just like a regular calendar. Um, and we'll have the front end, of course, in React.js and the back end data store in AstroDB Cassandra. Um, and this will help us track all of these fun nerd holidays that we love to celebrate, like Pi Day, Talk Like a Pirate Day, Rush 2112 Day, and Star Wars Day, and many others. Worth noting that to get this React application to function properly, you will need to install the following NPM dependencies. So let's go out to Astra and create an account or sign in. We'll also make sure that we're creating a new database. Um, while that database is creating, we can grab and save off our token details. When the database is ready, we can go ahead and load data into it. In this case, we'll use a CSV file. Here you can see that uh, you know we have our data all in. We'll set our partition key of year bucket our clustering column of event date, and then ID as another clustering column. This will also create the table if it doesn't exist. And we'll put that in the React key space. Next, we'll use npm create react app to create a brand new React application that's empty. With that, we'll create a .env file to hold values for our database ID, our database region, and our token. And it's important to note that all of these environment variables need to be prefaced with react underscore app underscore. Inside our empty react app, we'll open up the app.js file. We'll import a form component, uh, which we haven't created yet and will in just a second. And then just have the, uh, the form tag right in the middle there. For the form component, we're going to go ahead and build our render method and define our constants. Uh, we'll set up our return to um, actually build out our web form. And don't forget, the submit button is also very, very important. And you want to make sure that that goes to a submit handler as well inside the form. Okay, go ahead and create your constructor so that it uh, uses this dot state and defines um, initial values for year, as well as an empty array for event data. Build out a year change handler, which again, traps for the event when the, the year input changes and then sets the state accordingly. We're also going to want to build a submit handler, which includes a config that has um, you know, our content type and accept handlers for application JSON, as well as our Cassandra token. Then we're going to use Axios to create a get call to our database endpoint that's built out by um, you know, our AstroDB ID, as well as our region. Um, we pull the response back and um, you know, make sure that we're setting event data to response.data.data. It's important to do both. Um, and we'll also put that in the console log just to help us in the event we need to do any troubleshooting. Likewise, we're going to want to scroll to the end and make sure that we get the name of the key space as React. And we're going to want to make sure we match up the name of the table. And in this case, Nerd Holidays does not have an underscore. And now, go to our Nerd Holiday viewer, say 2023, query, and we get data. Um, so here you can see that, uh, yeah, we have the UIDs over here, the name of the holiday, and then they show up in ascending calendar order, just like that. For those of you interested, the source code used in today's exercise is available out on GitHub. You can find it in the following repository, github.com slash AR0NP slash nerdholidaysreact, or just scan the QR code listed here. 